Hello everyone, Laura here and welcome back to Midnight Hollow and the Stuart family. And today is Leisure Day or Leisure Day, however you want to call it. And our little Heather here is just about to come and eat something. And Fiona is getting a scolding off her daddy and I want her to come and eat something as well. Because what I would quite like to do is go to the local pool and kind of see what, let's see what Midnight um, I keep going to say Sleepy Hollow because I've been watching that TV show. Sleepy Hollow, not the movie, it's a TV show that they've made. I uh, keep seeing that, so um, I keep going to call this Sleepy Hollow instead of Midnight Hollow, but it is most definitely Midnight Hollow. So I'll let the family go and I suppose we could actually go out for something to eat, but I think we'll just try and eat breakfast as a family. So if we do this first of all, and then what we can do is go and explore the town a little bit and kind of see see what this place is all about. I think it'd be nice to visit the pool, the swimming pool as a family. And the good thing is because Heather is a vampire, the pool is indoors so it means that she can still enjoy, you know, chilling out with the family beside the pool but not having to worry about getting herself burned or any of that horrible stuff. The good thing is that Duncan has actually discovered in his mixing the vampiric uh, sunscreen however to make the sunscreen we do need to make sure that he has metal and also what does he need an insect as well so that is the key so but today we're not going to worry about that today today we are going to go and just have some family things so i think it's really important on days like leisure day and leisure day and whatever else it's really good to have the family all together Together. So it is um, 7 a.m. of course, so it might not be open, so we might just keep keep it as is at the minute. Okay, so the regular click did not make it into work today. Surprise, surprise. And she is going to go upstairs and praise a fantastic book to a nine-year-old. Yeah. Well I don't know if she's actually a nine-year-old, but to me they kind of seem like nine-year-olds in my head. <laughs> but a lot of things seem strange to me in my head. Okay, so anyway, moving swiftly on. So I've not been here. It's the Peculiar Pool. So it'll be interesting to see what the Peculiar Pool is. So allow me to introduce myself. Use charming introduction on a stranger to improve your relationship. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so go here with Duncan, Fiona and Heather. So let's go for a family outing. So it'll be nice to see what this is here. And we might go to the cafe after it or the park. Maybe do some fishing. Because Heather loves to fish. So we'll maybe do that. So, because we'll see. We'll see. We'll see where the day takes us at the end of the day. So let's head here and do this. We've got some things to collect there. So we can collect that when we come home. We'll need to keep an eye out for any metals and things like that. Because it'd be awesome if we can get that sunscreen for her so are we all in the taxi we are all in the taxi awesome okay right so this is what the swimming pool looks like oh okay okay it's quite dark fiona stewart is feeling like it's time to take a dip and visit the public pool absolutely okay so this is what that looks like i mean i'm sure if you've got this you will have you know seen all this so turn on all lights there we go why don't we set intensity to quite bright all lights yeah okay so what have we got then so we've got like little changing areas and such like i'd imagine this is what these are is your little changing cubicles this is cute oh my goodness like that is cute like it's got the curtains and everything that's fabulous I like that a lot. I like that. It's a really nice addition. I don't think I've seen changing rooms in any other Sims swimming pool. So I really like that. I really like what they've done with that. Um, What's this view part? This kind of looks like a reception area. So this is pretty cool as well. Although it's not actually got anyone in the reception. It's built really, really well. I like this a lot. Okay, so we have them all in here. So Duncan's starting to feel a bit ill. So what's up the stairs? Okay, so up here you have a little chill out area, which is quite cool. And then you've got some showers and toilets up here as well. So that's pretty cool. I think what I'd maybe like to add in is like a an eating area. So they can maybe 
you know, eat after their swim. So that's something that we can maybe think about doing. So where is Duncan? So Duncan is planning on just heading up and relaxing on that. And she is just learning that, so that is so cool. So graceful dives come after lots and lots of practice. So the diving board seems to be a hit with this family, which is always nice. So where are you? Oh, he's some body on him. <laughs> he really has got some, some lovely, lovely man, manliness. I really like how you can see over that. I think that's really, really cool how you can see over that. Okay, so go out and dive. So let's see if we can get them all to dive at the same time. I think that's what's actually maybe happening. <gasps> right, who's got the best dive? Who is the best diver out of a lot of them? Oh, no, she just did a... Oh, yes, well done, Heather. Heather has become an expert at diving. Now she won't look so silly in the pool. She's an expert. Well, I'll tell you. An expert already. That's absolutely fabulous. I remember whenever we were, or I was that young, we used to go to a swimming place that had this similar sort of thing where you could look down into it, but there was also diving board here, and you could either dive from this bit or this bit. Obviously, the swimming pool was much deeper than this one, but you could still, you know, you could still do that, which was cool. So what's he doing? He's going to go back in and swim with his family. So that's quite nice to see that he's doing that. Just while we're actually here, we can kind of look in the grounds and see if there's anything lying about that he can collect. Since that's what we are doing with him. Um, it's the big lemon. Big lemon doesn't help us whatsoever. Oh, we've got some people arriving. And I believe that that's her friend, Jennifer Doe. So that's pretty cool. So who do we have? We have the Doe's. Jane Doe, Joseph Doe, John Doe and Jennifer Doe. Okay, so we have got the Doe's. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to let them have a little bit of a swim around and I'll come back with our next family bit. Alrighty, so we are still in the pool and Heather is having a hold breath contest with little Jane. I believe it's Jane Doe or is the mum Jane Doe? Not entirely sure what she's called. And what we are going to do is we are going to get Grace to go and check on her shop because although it's leisure day the shop is still open so we want to see how it's getting on. So I want to visit it. Yes. Because what there is also is there's a sale on books and I'm thinking I am thinking that we go and buy a whole bunch of books and then sell them at an inflated price. <laughs> so, yeah, that's quite bad, I know it is. But these things must be done. And she is having a hold breath contest as well. And there's John. John, John, John. And where are we? And they're also having a contest as well. So the hold breath contest is quite cool. And I do enjoy that interaction. Okay, so where are we going? So we will go here. And then once it's dark, we can go and take the little one fishing, I think. It's going to be a good a good choice. So let's see how our shop is getting on once it loads up. So let's check. Um, Let's have a look at sales performance. So have we sold anything today? We have not sold anything today. Fabulous. What I'm wondering is, I don't know if you can actually, your shop will make any money if you're not in it. I'm not entirely sure how that works. But part of me thinks that you have to actually be at your shop. So let's do a charming introduction. And then that's basically us done that. Hopefully she will go to the toilet. So she doesn't end up, you know, pee-peeing her, her pants, if you like. <laughs> so it is just dad and the two daughters at the moment. So I think what we'll do is we'll head over to Passy Park with Duncan and Heather. And we'll see if it's going to be dark enough for Heather to actually have some time doing what she loves and what she's loved to do and that was fish. And it's going to be a difficult thing for her because obviously, you know, the last time she went fishing she was attacked. So that's never very nice. But, you know, she's with her dad now so I think she probably does feel a bit more safe. So let's go over here and let her... Where are you? 
Okay, so let's fish. So you can fish there and see what you can catch. And I think if you wanna, you can go and do some windsurfing. You and your dad can go and do that, I think. I think that would be pretty, pretty cool while she's on the shore doing that. It means he can kind of keep an eye on her as well. Now don't play tag. Come over here and fish. Okay, so why don't you go here and fish. So can, why can't we fish here? Surely you should be able to. What about here then? Can you go over here? Why not? What is wrong with where we are trying to get you to fish from? I don't see anything wrong about where we are trying to get you to fish from. Anyway, <laughs> this, this isn't very good. I wanted you to fish and you're going for a joyride beside some random person that you don't even know. Um. Okay, so where can we go fishing then? Because I really, really do want her to go fishing. And maybe the black fish pond. Maybe that's a bit obvious. <laughs> where can I go fishing? Hmm, I wonder. How about the black fish pond? Okay, where are you? So you are now swimming, so you need to go with her. So visit there with Fiona and, and Heather. Heather's going in anyway, but... But you can go. But you can go. Okay, you're going the wrong way. Are you meeting up with your dad first? My goodness, where are you going? Where are you? Oh my god, oh no. She's actually going to meet up. Right, so you came all the way back to then get in the water taxi with your dad. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough, I'm not going to criticise. Right, up we go. Okay, so surely you sh you'll definitely be able to fish now, won't you? Yes, you will. Okay, so we'll do that. So we'll fish. Fabulous. And you... What will you do? What can you do with your dad? You can listen to your dad and you can just, you know, chill out. And I think what I'm going to do, actually... Oh no, I'm forgetting. Oh no, I will be able to buy a picnic, I think. I want to buy a wee picnic and just let them have a picnic. I know it's dark and stuff, but this is... This is the good thing about Sleepy Hollow is that sort of... Sleepy, see? Sleepy Hollow. Is that, you know, it can be dark outside, but you know these things need to be done right <clears throat> where are we so outdoors outdoor activities where is the let's see okay and then we should 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 be able to do this yes fabulous so she will be able Duncan can see that Fiona is slightly insulted yeah they've been really struggling with their teenage years right so you really have. She's gone through mid swings and she's not been the best. Where are you going with it? What? Where? Excuse me. Excuse me, Duncan. Can you please put that back out there? Thank you. Yes. So go and eat something. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> so there we go. So he can sit. So you can come and do this. You grab a plate with your dad. I know you're playing with your kite and I'm glad that you like the kite. But just come and sit with your dad. That's it. And you come and sit with him. And what's Heather doing? And I think what we'll do is we'll get her to come. We'll report back. So go and talk to Morgan to complete the opportunity. So I think we'll just sit here. And you can just sit and chat as well so the two of you just sit relax a little bit and just chew the fat while she is absolutely loving loving the fish have we caught anything she caught a minnow i think she's got four minnows so she's doing quite well and i think you should come here as well and just grab grab a little plate here yeah, grab a little plate. So where is Grace then? Did Grace go and report back? She used to talk to Morgan to complete an opportunity. Okay, so let's go and talk to whoever Morgan is and see what happens. See what Morgan, what he's got to say for himself. 
Now, a couple of you had said that um, you'd sent me in-game gifts, so I haven't actually played online for a long time. When I mean that, I've not actually signed into it, so I am meaning to do that because if you have sent me a gift, then I'll definitely, definitely be sending you back. So, this guy, Morgan Yates, what's he given us? You introduce yourself in a marvellous fashion, proving that so what you... So what do you do for a living is no longer an icebreaker. Your relationships are going, growing stronger. Julian Poirot would like to chat. Does Grace? Yes. Why not? Grace would like a bit of romance. Because she's a single lady on her own, so she would like a bit of romance. Okay, so how are, how are these these two getting on? Where is, where is she? So she's away home. So she's, she's tired. She's hungry. For some reason, she didn't want to do that. So... Never mind. So we'll put this in Daddy's inventory or inventory, and I think that we'll, we'll just try. Um, give her a chat, and let's share a little secret with her, and let's try and build up this father-daughter bond again. I don't know where it all went wrong, but you know. I know she's angry at him for having to move, but at the end of the day, it was the right thing to do. So, you know. Friendly. Let's give her a gift. Let's give her a cure Alexa. <laughs> oh, no, she's rejected it. I don't know you well enough. Well, sweetheart, it's your father, so you do kind of know him well enough. If you don't know your father well enough, who do you know well enough? <laughs> So here she is and she's home. So why don't you just grab something out of the fridge. Just grab yourself some leftovers. Some leftover mac and cheese. Can't beat it. Can't beat it. Some leftover mac and cheese. Okay. And what about this? Yeah, you go and eat that. You go and eat that. Alrighty guys, so I think I'm just going to leave it there and what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it on a funny note, hopefully, because <laughs> Fiona has whoopee cushioned us, so Mr. Duncan's about to sit you bumming up. <gasps> I know it's so immature of you, but there's just something that I think is so, so funny <laughs> about that. I don't know why. It's very immature, but never mind. Okay, guys, so I shall talk to you in the next episode. Bye.